finally exposed my brother's secrets after he cheated on my BFF and turned everyone against me for trying to tell her the truth. Now he's cut out of the will, and his fiancé left him at the altar. So I, 26F, have an older brother. He is three years older than me and pretty much the golden child of the family. And with good reason, he is definitely above average. He is a neurosurgeon and works in one of the top medical institutes in the state, so I guess it's fair that my parents are super proud of him and constantly keep bragging about him, whenever it's possible. Sometimes, even when it's not possible to steer the conversation towards him, they manage to do it. Just because they love him so much. In comparison, I'm not that great. I work in advertising and it's a decent job, it pays well and I can afford a nice life for myself. But obviously, when you have a son who is a neurosurgeon, that's not enough to compare. So they like to play up my brother's achievements, so they don't have to talk about me. And I wish I could say that this has been a recent development, but they have always been like this. Ever since we were kids, he was always the star and I was sidelined for the most part. He was a much better student than I was and not only was he academically better than me, but he was also a great athlete and also dabbled in art occasionally. There was literally nothing that he couldn't do and I was supremely jealous of him and would constantly try to outdo him but never would be able to. As a result, I was miserable for as long as he was at home. I only really came into my own as a person after he left for medical school after high school ended and I realized that there was more to life than just wasting it, trying to compete with somebody because I wanted my parents to brag about me as well. So I cut myself some slack and tried to actually enjoy my life instead of trying to outdo my brother because it just didn't seem worth it anymore. I was much happier after that but my parents thought that I was being lazy and started comparing me to my brother even harder because I did not constantly stay in my room, cooped up, and tried to study so I could score better than my brother. But their strategy did not work after that because now that I knew I could actually be my own person instead of making my brother the basis of my identity, I did not have any intention of going back to that life, no matter what that meant. And my grades were not even affected that badly, so it was all fine. I just stopped trying to take part in every event and put myself through the hardest of challenges, just to impress my parents. They did not like that and they didn't bother to hide it either. It was very obvious to me that they would rather have two high-achieving kids who were constantly competing with each other than genuinely care about our happiness or how we turned out as people. So that's my parents for you guys. And in case you guys were thinking that maybe my brother did not encourage the competition and the unhealthy sibling rivalry, you guys are wrong. He was the worst of the worst and he made me feel even smaller, whenever he could. He was constantly putting me down and that's why I was always trying to defeat him, I guess. I just wanted something that I was better than him at and I still haven't found that one thing, but I'm okay with it now. But I was far from okay about this back then and I made myself miserable, trying to beat him out for something. He just kept winning and he would rub it in my face all the time. He left no stone unturned to remind me that our parents would always prefer him over me and it was just so toxic. It was a horrible environment to grow up in and I hated my brother. I still do, don't get me wrong, but after both of us went our separate ways in life, I guess we sort of made peace with each other for a little while, for the sake of the family. After I left for college, I kind of just stopped caring about what my parents thought of me at all and just wanted to live my life on my own terms. I still kept in touch with them but that was more out of obligation than out of love. Both my brother and I had simmered down considerably after we left home, so whenever we would meet each other, like on the holidays or when the family would get together, we would be civil to each other. We were not friends by any means but at least we were not constantly trying to one-up each other, which was a huge improvement from how we used to act earlier. The two of us had changed as people but my parents did not, unfortunately. They continued to brag about my brother, any time that they could and made me sound like a total loser, which was just really annoying all the time. But I couldn't exactly confront them about it without sounding petty and jealous. So I would always try to tune them out and pretend like they did not say the things that they would say, so it would not bother me. I just wanted to avoid any sort of drama with my family, so I never said anything about the way they would behave and would pit my brother and me against each other. I could have said a lot of things and shut them up forever if I wanted to, trust me, but I consciously chose not to do that. I had a lot of dirt on all of them my brother and my parents, but I never told them because it would just lead to unnecessary trouble for all of us. And I did not want to engage, so I stayed silent about everything for years. It was not that I did not have a spine or the guts to speak out, I just didn't do any of it by choice because they were just annoying but the kind of secrets that I knew about them, could ruin their lives and reputations. And I did not want to do that because that would be a little too harsh. Call me what you want but I didn't think it would be fair. For instance, I knew that my brother had been part of a pretty big scandal when he was in high school. He had been stalking a girl in his grade after she had rejected him and that had been going on for months before she finally broke down and complained to her father about it, who then pressed charges against my brother because he had also been harassing her online and threatening to ruin her application if she did not agree to go out with him. My parents were able to hush the whole thing up because thankfully, my family was pretty influential but it was a huge deal because everybody knew about it in high school. But it blew over quickly because there are always other scandals to move on to. And he also had a brief addiction to painkillers, during his residency, and was recovering from an ankle fracture. My parents went to great lengths to cover all of it up and make sure that nobody ever found out about any of that. 
and they did a pretty good job because nobody even remembers any of it. Except for me, of course, and it was just taken for granted that I would never speak up about any of this. I also knew certain things about my parents that I'm sure they would never want anybody else to know. Like I knew that my dad had an affair with his secretary, who was barely 22 and he was almost in his late 40s when it happened. My mother had found out about it and had threatened to leave him, if he did not fire the secretary and he had to do what he asked because he did not want a divorce and had to let her go but he also had to pay her a huge amount of hush money and make her sign an NDA to make sure she didn't talk about it because that would open the company up to lawsuits. All of them had skeletons in their closets that I knew about but I did not speak about it because I thought that it was not necessary and I did not want to destroy them. It was pretty foolish of my parents to treat me like that, knowing that I knew about the secrets that they had hidden from everyone for so long. But it did come out eventually, recently, because my brother is a disgusting human being. A couple of years ago, he started dating a friend of mine. I had just recently moved into a new and bigger apartment and posted a housewarming party for everyone. My friend and I had met each other at work, at my previous job, and we were pretty close. So when I found out that my brother had asked her out at my party, I was kind of skeptical and I even warned her about the kind of person that my brother was because I did not want her to get hurt. And I knew that my brother was kind of a jerk when it came to women but she seemed to really like him, so nothing that I said would get through to her. It worked out well for a while because they had been together for almost four years and got engaged at the beginning of this year. We had been friends, even though my brother and I did not get along. But she was happy with him and I really thought that he had changed for her sake because every time that she spoke about him, she had nothing negative to say and she made him sound like a perfect guy. So I thought that maybe my personal issues with him did not affect his ability to be a good partner to the one that he loved and I was happy for her. But a couple of days ago, I'd say maybe 12 days, I found out that he had been cheating on her with his co-worker. It was not a fling. It was a full-blown affair that he was having and it had been going on for the past two years. They had been meeting in private and he had promised her that he would break things off with my friend and get with her but when he got engaged, his co-worker realized that he was not serious and it was all just a joke to him. She had broken up with him a couple of days after he got engaged but he was still trying to get with her after that and inviting her to places so they could hook up. And she was so disgusted by all of it that she decided that she was going to get back at him before she left her position, since she had found a better opportunity, and was quitting in a couple of days. She knew that talking to his parents would not help because they worship him, and she was on the spot about that. She also did not want to speak to my friend directly because she couldn't bring herself to do that, she was so ashamed of herself. So she was reaching out to me because she knew that I did not get along with my brother and sent me all the proof that I needed to make sure that my friend got to know the truth and told me that now, I was free to do whatever I wanted. Even if I didn't say anything, she would be fine with it because at least she got it off her chest. And then she blocked me from the account that she had contacted me through and everywhere else. So I could not even get back to her but I already had everything that I needed, I just had to think about whether I wanted to tell my friend the truth or not. And it was not a hard choice really, I knew that I had to tell her about the affair because she was a really sweet girl and she deserved better. I had also known that everything about the way that my friend perceived my brother seemed too good to be true and it actually was. It was not like I was going to relish the experience of having to be the bearer of bad news but somebody had to tell her and since it was not going to be my brother's affair partner, and he himself would never tell her the truth, I decided that I would have to be the one to do it for her. It was a huge deal because I was putting my friendship with her at stake since I did not know if she would still want to keep in touch with me after she found out that my brother had been cheating on her. But I thought that I had to do it because it was the right thing to do and I could not let her suffer like that because my brother had cheated once and I knew that there was nothing that could stop him from doing it again and again. So if not his co-worker, he would just find somebody else to sleep with behind my friend's back. And he would never leave her either, because there is something wrong with him, just like everybody else who cheats. After thinking about it for a couple of days, I decided to invite her over for lunch and then break the news to her. I did it as nicely as I could but the news that I was delivering to her was still devastating and no amount of sugarcoating would ever change that. When I showed her all the screenshots and told her everything that my brother's co-worker had told me, she seemed to be in disbelief for a while. She was in denial and kept saying that there must have been some mistake because my brother would never do this to her and she knew that he loved her but I had to tell her that it was the truth. And then she started crying and I think I have never seen anybody break down like that. It was heartbreaking and really difficult for me to watch because she was a really good friend of mine but my brother had broken her in the worst way possible. And I really hated him for it so I tried my best to be there for her and I told her that if she wanted somebody to talk to, I would always be there, just one phone call away. Then she went home, so she could confront my brother about this when he came back home from work. This was just one week ago and the wedding is supposed to happen in less than a month, so there is a sense of urgency in the situation right now. I expected her to call me back and tell me everything that was going on after she went back home, but that phone call never even came. And all of a sudden, I realized that she had blocked me on social media, and I had no way to get through to her. That was really shocking because I thought I was doing her a favor by telling her the truth about my brother and here she was, blocking me out. I tried to contact her from different accounts for a couple of days but it did not work. She just blocked whatever new account I would create and was refusing to pick up my calls. 
And it wasn't even just her, I had been blocked by a couple of other relatives as well and some people had even started to reach out to me and tell me that I was really wrong for trying to ruin their relationship just a few weeks before their wedding. I had absolutely no idea what was going on and what they had been telling people about me and neither did I have any other way to contact her or my brother or even my parents, because they had all blocked me. So I did the only thing that occurred to me and decided to go to her workplace and wait for her to come out so we could talk. About four days ago, during my own lunchtime, I went to my previous office and I waited for her to come out because I knew that she usually gets lunch from a nearby restaurant. As soon as she came out, I decided to confront her because I needed to know what was going on. She was shocked to see me but when she recovered, she put on this really cold face and told me to leave because she did not want anything to do with me anymore. I was very confused by this behavior because I had assumed that I had done something good for her and I was not going to leave without an answer. So I told her that I was not going anywhere and she absolutely had to tell me what was going on because what she was doing here was absolutely wrong. Then she finally turned around and told me that the reason she did not want to speak to me anymore was because she knew that I was trying to ruin her relationship with my brother on purpose because I was jealous of him. Now that she knew the truth, she was not going to let me come in between them and ruin their relationship. She told me that she did not trust me one bit after she had come to know the things that I had done in the past, referring to things that I didn't even do and I am sure that my brother had said those lies to her to manipulate her against me so she did not believe whatever I had told her about his affair and stuff. And she was even gullible enough to fall for all of it and believe what he was saying, instead of what I was telling her even though I had hard proof. I was really pissed off by the way that she was treating me like I was some idiot and I could never reach the level of my brother, so I was trying to drag him down by ruining his relationship just a few weeks before his marriage. I knew that my brother had turned her against me and she was not going to believe anything that I was going to tell her because she had made up her mind about who she was going to believe, and it was not me. So I did not waste any more of my time, trying to talk to her, because it was her life and she could destroy it in whichever way she chose to. I was really upset and almost on the verge of tears because I had really thought that I was doing a good thing but it had backfired and now I had lost a friend, just because of my brother. I was massively pissed off as well because he had told her a bunch of lies about me and she had even believed it since she wanted to believe that the man she was marrying was a good person. He had basically told her that I had edited and created all those screenshots on my own, just because I wanted to sabotage him. And apparently, this was not even my first time trying to do something like this, because I had also done things like this in the past with his previous girlfriends and told them all so many lies about him, that they ended up leaving. This is what he had told my friend and she had chosen to be with him. Fine then, she could be with him but I was not going to tolerate the fact that he had ruined my friendship with someone I considered close, just because he wanted to cover up his own affair. And then I did something, to get back at him, which everybody is mad at me about because they think that I should have just let it go. So what I did was not a nice thing, I'll admit that. I definitely did it out of anger and wanted to get revenge on my brother for every little thing that he had put me through all through these years. I was sick of silently dealing with everything and consoling myself by telling myself that I was being the bigger person and letting them live in peace. Well, that was not going to happen anymore because I was finally going to speak up about all the secrets that I had been keeping to myself because at the end of the day, they were my family and I did not want to do anything that I could not take back. But at this point, I did not care anymore. So on the evening of the day that I decided to confront my friend about why she was ignoring me after she told me off, I was very upset and I made a post. In that post, I included all the secrets that I had kept to myself for all these years, that I have mentioned above, and made sure to explain everything in great detail. I even made my account public, just for this purpose, so it was very well thought out and definitely not in the heat of the moment. I talked about my brother's addiction to painkillers in his past and how he had creeped a girl out by stalking her for months after she said no to going out with him. I also talked about my father's affairs with his secretary and how they had to fire her because my mother was not happy about it but she still continued to stay with him and pretended like the whole thing never happened because she had nowhere else to go. And of course, being rich and staying with a cheating husband was better than being on your own and poor. Everybody in the family was not blaming me and refusing to talk to me, treating me like a pariah. I was aware of the fact that this was all his doing and I was really angry that he thought he could do this to me and get away with it. So I typed that post out and put it out there for everyone to read. I personally don't regret it but people have been coming up to me after that and telling me that I took it too far because this could ruin my brother's life and career, not just his marriage. I don't understand how that's any of my business because all I did was expose the truth, so that people would really get to know how my parents and my brother were, instead of the rosy image that they portray in public. I really don't think that I did anything wrong because I had been keeping this to myself for almost my entire life up until this point, but they just kept pushing and pushing me. So now, I was left with no choice but to expose them for what they really are. And I don't regret it but a couple of my more lenient friends and family members, who didn't block me or turn against me because of my brother, now think that I should take the post down since this is serious. I don't think that I need to take the post down but I also don't want to completely disregard what these people are saying because they were the only ones on my side before this. So Ida for making a post that could ruin my family's life after they manipulated everybody to turn against me? Update 1, I have made my decision and unfortunately, it's not going to be in favor of my family. 
I have decided that I'm not going to take the post down, no matter what. If they did not want that information to come out and in such a nasty way, they shouldn't have messed with me. They knew that I knew these things and yet, they just took me for granted and continued to mistreat me for years on end. What did they even expect? Did they really think that I was just going to put up with that for the rest of my life and let them get away with whatever they wanted? Yeah, that's not happening. The only reason I was even considering taking that post down was because I thought I was being very harsh but reading the comments made me realize that I probably wasn't being hard enough on them. And anybody else in my position would have leaked the secrets way long ago because nobody would be willing to put up with this sort of disrespect for no reason. But I did put up with it, for a really long time, because I did not want to ruin their lives. However, now it's a different story. I don't care what happens to them or what the repercussions of this are, I'm just done being the good girl and thinking about my family and their life. They never thought about my mental health and how I would feel about the things that they said and did. Then why should I? We are still all on talking terms, they have not abandoned me like I thought they would, if I said that I was not going to take the post down. I explained my feelings and they seemed to understand where I was coming from so that is sorted out for now and I have nothing to worry about. Nobody from my family has reached out yet and I guess they are too busy trying to save face after the kind of secrets that have been exposed about them. Good, this will keep them busy for a while. Update 2, I just heard from a couple of people that the wedding has been called off. I really couldn't be happier. My friend has not reached out to me but well, at least she's out of that relationship now. I think I did the right thing, I have no regrets. It has been almost a week and a half since I made that post and relatives of mine have been unblocking me left and right and trying to talk to me, probably to get more gossip, but I have been blocking them now. My only goal with that post was to make my family realize just how much of a favor I was doing to them. I did not intend to carry this on because this was pointless and really negative. Whatever I wanted to do, I had accomplished it, and now it's time to move on. Update 3, so my parents wrote an email to me and said that they were going to cut me off forever. They were also changing their will and making sure that I was not included in it because I had let them down for one last and final time. They also told me that my brother had been placed on administrative leave, with pay, because the rumors flying around about him were crazy and it was not looking too good for his career at the moment. I'm not sure what that has to do with me, I just spoke my truth. If he did not want to get into trouble then he probably should have been more upfront and transparent about his response. But well, that's just how they roll, I guess. Secrets and lies are totally their thing, I'm just glad that I'm officially no longer part of the family. I would hate to be a part of a family like that anyway. They told me that in a couple of days, I would be receiving a call from their lawyer and that's how I would know that I had been cut out of their will. As if that makes a difference to me. They can cut me out of anywhere they want to, I hardly care about it. Update 4, Hi, guys. So it has been a couple of weeks since the wedding got called off. I have also been officially disinherited by my parents, I received a call from their lawyer a couple of days ago. It doesn't matter though, I'm cool with it. I am leading a nice life and I have good friends who care about me, that's all that I could ask for. Speaking of friends, my brother's ex fiance and my old friend, she recently reached out to me yesterday and told me that she was really sorry for not trusting me and thanked me for everything that I did for her. She told me that she was moving away because she just couldn't live here anymore and was done with everything. So she wanted to meet one last time before she left and I think I'm going to do it. She's not a bad person, but she just fell in love with one. And that's not her fault. I just hope she finds happiness at some point, she's a good woman and she deserves to be happy.